Boy, I wish I could just lay like that anywhere. <laughs> Woofy, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> he just sprawled out on his back, all four feet up in the air. <laughs> Got Robert hooking up some solar wires here for us. He's having a fun time. Not really. I've heard a few cuss words. Kitty cats are trying to fight while Robert's trying to do this on the porch and I'm just sitting here watching. Mozzarella and Doc have been fighting because it's a little past their dinner time and they want to come in, but they can't yet. morning everybody just now making some coffee I hope you guys are having a great day <clears> the <throat> throat's kind of raspy today yeah making me a cup of coffee and uh, then we'll chat nothing like that first coffee in the morning I tell you, I sure don't mind waiting on my coffee to get done with this AeroPress. There is nothing like an AeroPress coffee. Now top it up. Some water. I drink one cup of coffee a day, but it's a big cup. <laughs> Well, the sun just didn't work with me today. I really wanted to see what kind of sun I, or solar I could pull in with those panels. But it is supposed to be cloudy all day long. I haven't seen a spark of sun since I woke up, but I have the four panels set up. And yesterday there was about 30 minutes of sun left. But it was, you know, it, it, the sun has changed positions because winter's coming on. But I was pulling in with two panels. I was pulling in 97 watts. And when we got the other two panels hooked up, uh, I didn't have much chance to see what it would do. But it was, uh, it was doing, it, I mean, it was doing pretty good with two. So uh, I didn't really get to check it with the four. But hopefully, see, we're about that far away from the van. But hopefully tomorrow or the next day we'll have full sun. I discharged my power station to zero last night thinking that I would could test out how fast it would charge it with solar. But uh, had no sun. Woke up this morning with a bit of a raspy throat, but it's went away now. It actually pretty much went away after I had my cup of coffee and uh, felt pretty good. I took a walk, rode my bike, took another little walk. And uh, uh, for lunch, I had uh, some chicken from the barbecue place and uh, coleslaw. And I just made little chicken street tacos with them. Uh, I just added some Fiesta Lime by Mrs. Dash. Uh, you'll see that right here. That's a great seasoning, guys. Uh, if, if, you have, if you can't use salt in your food, you know you're on a salt restriction. This is really good. Fiesta Lime by uh, Mrs. Dash, but all the Mrs. Dashes are amazing. I use them all. I really like the table blend. I like um, the Southwest Chipotle. Also, the uh, extra spicy one is really good. But yeah, Mrs. Dash is my go-to for spices. And for dinner tonight, I'm going to have, I have some elk meat. I'm just going to cook up some elk meat, uh, elk meat with a couple of eggs over medium on top of the meat and maybe some vegetable uh, on the side, or maybe not. I, I may just saute the, or cook the meat with some onions and just put eggs over it and have that. Uh, I won't be eating any bread. I have, it's been, since I've had actual bread, it's been at least two or three weeks 
Um, I've just been using those pita breads, which only have eight carbs in them, uh, by Joseph's. And, um, uh, yeah, I've been using those for anything. And if I want something sweet, I've been taking, um, I got some almond butter, coconut almond butter, and I have some cashew butter. And I just put a little bit on one of those pita breads, like I'll cut the pita bread in half, put a little bit of that on there and put blueberries on it and just fold it over and eat it like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's pretty darn good and it soothes the sweet taste. Or if you have a craving for sweets, it'll soothe it. That cashew butter is the bomb with uh, blueberries. Really good. Tomorrow, I'm super excited. Uh, Jess Mel, the YouTube channel Jess Mel, my friend Melissa, we are going to go into town and collaborate and we're going to view Grant's Pass from our view, you know, through our lens. So it's going to be interesting to see how different our videos are and things that we find interesting. I'm looking so forward to that. I was uh, thinking about places I wanted to film and how I want to film them. I've been watching some videos on about filming cities and and filming uh, B-roll with like a, f a phone instead of, you know, an actual camera because I film everything on my iPhone. So looking forward to doing that. A lot of ideas I want to try out. And I think we're going to grab some lunch in town and maybe stop at the store. I'm not sure. I know I have to pick up my meds. Uh, they're ready. And uh, so going to be doing that tomorrow. Fighting my hair. I know I have headbands and all kinds of stuff to put on to pull my hair out of my eyes. But I had just gotten out of the shower. It's starting to dry and I didn't want to pull it back in a ponytail or anything. Uh, just let it dry like this. But uh, anyway, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Should be a lot of fun. Perfect weather. I think it's only going to be like 75 in town. That's excellent weather to me. That That's the perfect, perfect kind of weather if I'm going to be out in it. Anyway, guys, that's about all I got for you. <laughs> Thanks for being here, man. I love you all. I am so thankful for all the new subscribers. And that one video still going. Uh, I've been gaining 10, 15 subscribers a day easily. And I think a lot of them are from that one video about being lonely, living in a vehicle and stuff. And I'm so glad so many people uh, found that video and was able to watch it because really it was just, I just wanted to reach out to people. You know, I know people get lonely. That's, that is how it is. And uh, I, if I can help one person or, or change one person's life or make them smile or make them think, you know, I think I did a good job. And uh, that's really what YouTube is about for me. All right, guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Peace out.